Hello, motherfucker. It looks straighter. <gasps> Straight like me. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know that something's starting right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I feel so weird. I haven't filmed in so long. It's been like the craziest thing ever. I haven't filmed in like weeks. Why not? Well, it's because it's the holidays and I wanted to spend them with my fucking family. They have my fucking corazón, so I wanted to spend it with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I haven't filmed in like a bit and it's the end of the year and I want to do like a little bit of an end of the year video. Today's video is going to be testing the award-winning products at Sephora. So basically Allure delegates an award every single year to Sephora's top beauty picks or something like that. I, can't, I don't really know exactly how it works, okay? But basically they have like a top list of products that won 2018 product of the year. And I want to test out those products and see if they're really worth the top rating that they got. There's like rumors out there that the brands pay for this award. It's not even like given out like fairly. I really have no idea, truly have no idea. So I really wanna try it out myself and see what I think about these products that are number one in Sephora in this section. So that's what we're gonna be doing today in today's video. By the way, shout out quickly to Rach Loves because I saw that she did this video as well and I didn't want to, like people to be like, oh my gosh, like you're copying Rach Loves' idea. I had this idea a little while ago just because they do it at the end of the year, every single year, but she got it up first. So shout out to you, Rach, for getting it up. You're an amazing YouTuber and I love your content. So yeah. By the way, there's gonna be a giveaway in today's video. I bought a Sephora gift card for 200 bucks. All you gotta do is be subscribed to my channel, comment down below where I can find you. That's literally about it. Like literally, that's it. It's like the end of the year, so I wanted to do some giveaways throughout the end of the year because it's just like that time. I wanna give. I don't wanna receive, I wanna give. <laughs> also, the list of products is not like every single thing. Like for example, they didn't have a blush in the list. They didn't have a highlighter in the list. So I'm just gonna be taking things that I like throughout the video. Anyways, you guys, as always, if you guys like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that, you know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what's up, I'm Manny MUA. And welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Guys, okay, so also I didn't have everything on this list because so, I went to Sephora and bought them and yeah, some things I did have, some things I didn't. That is what it is, okay? So basically what I'm gonna be taking first is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is one of my favorite primers of the year. I think it's truly one of the best. If this was nominated for primer, I would pray that it would win this award because I truly think that it deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, Allure of Fame. <gasps> The allure of fame. We just made that up. Coining. But anyway, I just really like this primer because I feel like it's never broken me out, never once. I feel like it makes the skin look really, really supple and soft and nice without it looking like too matte and too drying. The foundation sits on it beautifully and I just really, truly fucking love it. And you guys know, I've talked about this so many times. Y'all probably like, Manny, shut the fuck up. And I'm like, Okay. So for the first product that won, it is the Fenty Beauty Shake Well. Give me a second. It's the Fenty Bre Booty. I haven't filmed it a bit. Give me a second. It is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. That is a name on her. That has a name on her. Honestly, I'm really happy this one because I truly, truly love this foundation. It's just such a beautiful foundation. I just feel like it blends so nicely. The texture is gorgeous. The finish is gorgeous. I'm gorgeous. It is what it is. Like, it's just all gorgeous. So I'm taking a mixture of the shade 170 and 150, but I usually just go with 170 because that's just like what I always go with, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just be extra today because it's the end of the year and why not be extra during the end of the year? I don't know. Why wouldn't you? Also, you guys, I'm sorry. Like around my mouth, I've broken out so bad. I literally don't know what it could be, why I'm broken out. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It dries down very matte, but it's not so matte where you're like, okay, what's water? Never heard of that. Like, it's not that matte, but it's definitely matte where you're like, oh, mira la matte. <laughs> I swear I fucking did one Spanish video and I swear I'm fluent in Spanish. Like, that's the gag. Diganme como están? Also, the Beauty Blender won Allure's top tools section. Okay, but like, listen, listen. Listen to me. Like, what other tool, like sponge is out there at Sephora is gonna combat the Beauty Blender? I don't think there is one. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one, to me, did deserve it. I love this foundation. I have talked about this foundation many, many times on my channel. And I was really, really happy to see that it won because I am more on the oily side. And I really can't imagine this foundation being that bad for people that are dryer because it's just not that drying i mean it's matte don't get me wrong it is but it's definitely not the most matte foundation i've ever worn it lasts like it looks so pretty the coverage is stunning Ugh. i'd say 
that was a win. So the concealer that won the Best of Beauty is going to be the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Longwear Concealer. And I've only actually worn this one time, so I can't really give it a big, like, 100%, like, yes, for sure. This is in the shade 1N. Okay, so I will say, with this concealer, it did not crease on me, like, at all, which I loved so much. I'm not gonna lie, I think the shade selection is a little bit weird. So this is in the shade 1N. I don't know, man. Like, there's like 7,000 light shades and a couple dark ones, but it's just like, I don't know. To me, it's weird. It is what it is. You know, it's my opinion. And then I'm gonna go in a little bit with the shade 2C, just on the inner part, just to warm up those dark hues, because mommy needs some help in that inner corner. See, like, that was in the shade 2. This is 1, this is 2. Like, look at what a massive difference that was. Like, a little off. Also, so for the powder that won, it is going to be the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is what won the Best of Beauty in 2018. I've literally never even heard of this. So I'm gonna need to know how the fuck this bitch won. I swear to God, if this is another glowy powder, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. Like when, when my brother played me with the Laura Mercier Glow Powder. We're gonna get Laura Mercier. And if this one's glowy, I'm going to fucking lose it. This is one of the products I did not have actually. I've never tried it before. I don't know. The concealer, I would say the coverage is a really nice medium to full buildable coverage. And it's crazy how this concealer just doesn't really crease. It baffles my mind. It's mind boggling. It's baffling and boggling all at the same time. Okay, literally, if y'all can see my skin right now, I've never seen a pore. I've never heard of a pore. Pores are obsolete. Even my smile lines aren't even that bad. Okay, you know what? Okay, this is the gag too. I'm sure you guys are thinking, why I didn't, you know, Tarte Shape Tape win? Because that's like the iconic concealer of the year. Because it's not in Sephora, I don't think. Because it's an Ulta Beauty exclusive. Okay, so we have this Becca. Blah, blah, blah. Keep me close to keep me cool. Keep me close to keep me cool. That's the opposite for me. Open me up and keep me fucking warm. <laughs> go on, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go right in. This is like one of those things where it has like a bouncy mesh in the center. We're gonna use this powder and we're gonna set underneath the eyes. Fuck, it really oxidized under my eyes, didn't it? Wow. And this is with like crazy ass lighting in my room and you can still see the oxidization. Okay, so I don't love that. I think I might just be a little bit too fair for that. Or maybe I'm not supposed to use it with the sponge. Let's try it with a brush. But so far, not my favorite powder ever. If I do think that it definitely has like that nice, really pretty blur skinned like feature i just feel like it's like making my skin darker and that could be a combination of things it could be the foundation underneath it reacting to the powder it could be many things but i just see it oxidizing and i don't love it but the way it looks on the skin is extremely smooth like extremely smooth but i thought i was poreless before bitch what the fuck the powder itself feels very finely milled Honestly, it has like a silk consistency and even rubbing it through my fingers, it fills in my fingerprint. So I know usually when that happens that the powder itself will be really, really good at like making the pores look really, really small. Not in a bad way, like not in the way where you're like, oh my God, look how cracked you look. No, in the way of literally like it's like smoothing over the skin and giving it like that really, you know, blurred focus look. And it really is doing that. I'm going to say that this is not my winner for 2018 powder only because it oxidized when it went on my skin. I can literally like my skin now looks orange and I don't like that. I think that if they had a lighter color would have been nice because this color on me, it just didn't work, dude. It just fucking didn't work. And that's what it is. So you guys, they did not have a bronzer on the list, which is so random to me. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Marc Jacobs Tantastic. This is my award winner for the year is Tantastic. The consistency is that consistency. The color is just that color. It's just everything about about it truly is that bitch and also like when you put bronzer on it kind of helps like make my face look not as orange okay guys so i have dimples right there's one and right there's one and i always thought those were areas that just didn't take pigment on my face but when i turn to the side pigments everywhere i like this it turns into a freckle or not freckle it turns into a what did i just say it was what are they called i keep wanting to say implant i lost it fuck me it's fine I have dementia. So far, so good. They didn't have blush and they didn't have highlighter in the list too. The blush for me for 2018, the shit that really did me good was the Tarte Blush Book. The Tarte Blush Book really is just that girl. It's that island girl. It's so pretty. It lasts so long. It blends perfectly. The coverage is stunning. It just looks like truly a gorga bitch. And I'm taking this on a Morphe E4. Amazing brush for blush. I just, this is just my go-to blush. Brush. Get a little bit on the nose. You guys, by the way, you can use code Manny MUA with Morphe if you guys didn't know that already. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know. Okay, putting blush everywhere. Been really, really into blush this year in general. Blushing. 
Oh, I look so much nicer with blush on. So for highlighter, I'm gonna be using my Greek Goddess Highlight Palette. This to me was the highlight of the year. I'm sorry, the packaging mixed with the product. She's a Fritz Bernays. No, I'm just kidding, she's a Lunar Beauty. Yep, yeah, I had to go there. I really, I'm sorry, I had to go there. Let me have this one, okay? You fucking let me have this. Taking the shade Muse. And a little bit of Medusa as well, of course. Honestly, you guys, my highlight formula is stunning, <laughs> which is so awesome. Like I love being able to create things that I truly love and back 1000%. Like this is something I created. So I put my name behind it a thousand percent. It's my brand, bruh. Like fuck, like she did that with this fucking palette. I'm sorry. This is the one for 2018. Down the center of the nose as well. On a Morphe R36 brush with creamier highlighters like this, I always suggest more compact brushes because I just feel like they apply much better. But this is the highlight. Oh my god, looking like a fucking goddess. Catch that light. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho. Okay, cool. So this is the face. Oh my gosh, it's so angelic. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go in with the brows and the product that won Allure Beauty Top 2018 Award. I can't keep saying that every time. Honestly, it's gonna give me a fucking headache. Oh my God, I need food. I don't care which order, I need them both. The product that won is going to be the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. Congratulations to Benefit for winning on the brow products. That's amazing. I absolutely love your guys' brow products. I personally use Precisely more just cause it's easier for me. Just cause it's so small and tiny, I can really be precise with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and take Goof Proof in the shade number four for now. Okay, Goof Proof. I do like Goof Proof, I do. Don't get me wrong. I think it's easy, it's quick, it's fun, it's festive. But I just enjoy Precisely more because I just like to be a little bit more precise. Hence the fucking name. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use that in the brows. And I'll decide if I think that this should have won the award of the year or not. We'll see. We'll see, I'm a harsh critic, bro. Like, I'm a harsh critic. Okay, so that is the brow. I do like the pencil. This is faster, I'm not gonna lie. It's faster, it's quicker. And if you have a lot of brow hair, I think you would really, really, really like this. But I think for me personally, I think that the Precisely pencil should have won for the best of beauty and not Goof Proof. That's just my opinion. <laughs> if you live for Goof Proof, awesome. Awesome, but I honestly think that Benefit definitely deserved the brow category this year because they destroyed it in brows. They came out with so many different SKUs and they just came out the whole line and they just fucking dropped that shit like, like I don't even know, what, what drops? Like the fucking ball on New Year's Eve or like a fucking an ass, whatever else drops. So that's the brow. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the concealer itself. Honestly, I feel like this would work as a really good concealer because it doesn't crease, dude. Like it's so crease resistant, it was shocking. Okay, so this is with one brow on and one eye primed. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off of camera and I'll be right back to continue on in this video of whether or not 2018 Allure Beauty Picks of the Year are actually where are they? Okay, so we out here cooking. We out here biking a little bit. Okay, cool guys. So now so there's actually two palettes that won for the best of beauty in Allure's little thingy. We have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette as one of them. And the second one is the Natasha Denona Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. And I actually have both palettes here. These are what the two looks like right here. As we can see, they're not the same by any means. This one has a lot more oranges and warm sunsetty tones. This one has a lot more rose gold pink tones, of course, as the name suggests of the palette. So basically, I didn't really know exactly which one I wanted to use, but I have used the Natasha Denona one and I have used the Huda Beauty one. I think that Natasha Denona shadows are beautiful and the mattes blend very nicely. However, I think that for the price point, it's a little ridiculous. And for the texture of the shimmers, there's so much fallout in them where it's really quite like exaggerated, like really, really, really intense. So I'm not really sure exactly if this deserved to be in the top of beauty 2018. The Huda Beauty Remastered Palette. This is a beautiful palette. I really, really think that it's stunning. It's really nice. I like the color selections. I like that there's 18 shades. And you actually can do a lot with it because there is a lot of shimmers. There is a lot of mattes. So I'm actually going to be going in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette for today's video. Just because I just, I really enjoy it a lot more. But see, some of these textures are weird. So like, it's just, there's a lot going on. Okay, there's a lot going on. So these textures here, it's like a cream, very creamy, intense formula. You definitely need to use with a finger or a sponge tip of some type. Very glittery, very intense, beautiful shades for sure. But the consistency is a little bit odd and I would definitely suggest using a finger with it because if you're trying to pick it up with a brush, it's just not going to happen. 
and K and K. So we're gonna go and use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered. The original Rose Gold palette did so well, and they remastered the palette to be, I I guess, better. I'm not exactly sure why they remastered the whole thing. I didn't really follow along with that whole situation going on with the whole Rose Gold Remastered palette coming back. I did think that was a little bit weird that it came back, you know? But, you know, that's just my, that's my own personal preference. Maybe I'll just do a very, very, very intense pink maroon eye. Okay, we're gonna take the shade Doll Face and Demi. I'm gonna put that into the crease. And who does mattes? They blend very, very nicely. I just think that they they are really nice for, for mattes. They're pretty darn good. So we're gonna use that on a Morphe M504 brush. And we're gonna do a full on ass, pink ass eye. But so far, no fallout whatsoever. Of course, I always like dip in and usually I don't really get any fallout with that situation. Lightly blending those edges. So now let's go ahead and go in with the shade Risqué. I really do love the tones of this shade. I think it's very, very, very pretty. I'm gonna go to that outer corner and into the crease. And this is going on a Morphe M433. Amazing, amazing packing brush, but also a blender at the same time. I highly recommend this brush. It's amazing. Ooh, we're really going in today with the color story. Come on, mama. But I really do like this shade a lot. Okay, so that's that right there. So that's what it looks like. It's a little bit harsh right now, but it's totally fine because I think we're going to end up cutting the crease anyway. <laughs> Take the shade Man Eater to make it a little bit more red tone. Really saturate the crease with a lot of intense color. Love that! And taking a little bit of Coco on the outer corner just to deepen everything and just to make it a little bit more dimensional, if that makes any sense. I like to just do circular motions on the outer corner. Start blending into the lid a little bit as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go and cut the crease out. You like really can't go wrong. If you get one of these palettes, like the mattes are really, really nice. But we're gonna go in with the creamier consistency shadows too so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about with them. Oh, that is so gorga. Mira que gorga. Okay, and that is this gorgeous cut crease, that sharp ass line. Fuck, y'all bitches thought I wasn't talented. <laughs> Just blend out some of that extra concealer that we don't need there. And now we're gonna go in with our finger and we're gonna take the shade Pink Diamond, why not? And I'm sticking this onto my wet concealer lid as well as on with the finger. I mean, I don't really know a lot about these, this consistency of shadow. Maybe I should have set it first. I'm not really quite sure, but it's definitely, definitely very pretty. But I've had to dip in many a time, many a time. <laughs> I need a brush. Okay, I'm just gonna take this really, really, really flat synthetic brush and try to pack on right close to where I cut the concealer because I don't want to ruin that sharp ass line that I did, are you kidding? Fucking shit is sharp as fuck. Taking a little bit of bubbly on the inner corner. With the finger, you guys, I'm telling you, it's sickening, 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 sickening with the finger. But with the brush, it just doesn't do it justice, I guess. Like, it just fucking doesn't, dude. And it annoys the shit out of me. And it just annoys me. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the edges a bit so we don't ruin the fantasy. Give it us that illusion. And that is the eye as such. So I'm gonna go and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. As well as apply eyeliner because there was no eyeliner and no lashes. Okay, so we just finished today's look and I wanted to go ahead and put on a little bit of mascara before I put on the lashes and the liner. Today's look is very inspired by Stacey Marie on Instagram. She takes her eyeshadows all the way up to the brow bone and put a nice little strong highlight on there. And I just really live for her technique and just everything about her. And I wanted to do something like kind of an homage to Miss Stacey. So that's why my look is a little bit, you know, more bold than usual. But I also feel like it really, really complements my eye shape because I do have hooded lids. So if you really wanna show a color and you really wanna make a color like be it's the focal point of your look, definitely if you have like hooded lids like me, use the color underneath your lower lash line and lower it a lot more so, you guys, so people can actually see what kind of color you're wearing. So for me, I'm wanting to really emphasize pink. So that's why I put it on my lower lash line as well. Okay, so I went ahead and curled my lashes off camera, but I'll do one more for health, wealth, and happiness. And then I'll go ahead and apply the mascara that won. So the mascara that won this year is the Benefits Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is actually one I had to purchase myself. I don't have this. Like, I don't know how I don't have this. I've worn this once. And honestly, the time I wore it, I didn't love it. And it's because I just felt it was very, very, very watery and very liquidy. And I feel like it just didn't really do much for the lashes. It definitely gave me some nice, like, length and volume. But I feel like it didn't really hold the curl very nicely. I just feel like it just doesn't dry very well. When I put it on my lower lashes, it transfers down to, like, my skin. So I just feel like it just doesn't dry down the way I like it. I would much prefer roller lash over 
over this mascara from Benefit. But this one does a great job at separating your lashes and making them look longer. It looks pretty. I would say for me, this would probably not be a top pick for 2018. Beauty-wise, um, I would rather go with Roller Lash for this year's mascara that I really like. Just the one I constantly, constantly go back to. Uh, it's so frustrating because I love the way this mascara makes my lashes look on the lower lash line specifically. But I can never wear this out to an event or anything like that because it will transfer to my lower lid. It's so annoying though because it makes them look so full. Uh, I feel like if they came out with a waterproof version of this, that would be really, really sickening. Same wand, a little bit less watery and less transferability. Bitch, that could be revolutionary. But yeah, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner and lashes off of camera since there were none of those in the freaking list. How do we not have liner and lashes in the list? That doesn't make sense for what I just said, like at all. And then we'll be back for the lips. So, 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 we have the lashes and liner on. Just a quick little liner, a quick little lash. My lashes and liner of the year of 2018. My picks for the best are gonna be Lily Lashes Miami. That's exactly what I'm wearing right now. Lily Lashes Miami are just such a beautiful, fluffy pair of lashes that I just really think complement so many different eye shapes, so many different just faces. It's such a pretty pair. It's so wispy, so intense. Like, definitely, they don't look that intense on me. I mean, maybe they do, but to me, they don't look that intense. But they will look more intense on a smaller face. Pero, they're still so amazing. Lily Lashes is just that lash brand. I love them so much. Use code my name anyway. Um, shameless plug. Oh, also on the liner, my top of my liner is going to be Kat Von D Trooper. I just feel like this one is just the best black brush tip liner I've found. If you guys have any other suggestions or any other recommendations that you guys really, really like that are similar in tip to this, like it's literally a brush and not a felt tip sponge. I personally like that. Something that's really long wear, something that's super black. I would love to see the suggestions down below. So, time for the lip. The Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks as the winners. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use Miss KKW lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is like one of their most popular shades. Another really, really popular one is Pillow Talk, which is stunning as well. Oh, these lipsticks are beautiful. See, this is where I'm like, yup. The Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are 100% deserving of being on this top bitches list. 1,000%. I need a lip liner though. Okay, I'm gonna really like be that bitch right now. I'm gonna use the Bite Beauty Lip Crayons to lip line and then fill it in with Miss Charlotte. Fuck, the smartness just popped right out. It just fucking made an appearance. I'm gonna use the shade Glace just to lip line a little bit like a hair. These are extremely, extremely, extremely comfortable. They really are stunning. I just personally like the Charlotte lipsticks more. And now we're gonna fill her on in with Miss KKW from Charlotte Tilbury. Mm. This is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, by the way. A little ombre action, oh my gosh. And also last but not least, the winner of setting spray of 2018 is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I believe rightfully so is the winner. It's amazing, I absolutely love the setting spray. It truly does make my makeup last longer throughout the day. And it just takes away the powdery appearance. It makes me just look so much more feminine and gorgeous. Ooh! Ooh, I'm feeling my fucking oats, you guys. I'm feeling my fucking oats. Oats. Oats! I did also buy... <gasps> Gotta be fucking kidding me. I bought two. I didn't even want one and I bought two. I'm giving this away. With the the gift card, one of these is giving is going to you guys as well. <laughs> Cause this is another one of the wins. I thought it was a gloss on the list, but it was actually like a lip stain. And so the Dior lacquer lip stains. I didn't really want to use it. I'm not a huge fan of lip stains on the lip for me personally. It's just not my go-to thing. So I didn't use it, but I bought it and y'all will get one. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to enter the giveaway rules and shit down below. But that's it, you guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I had so much fun creating it for you guys. And honestly, this was so much fun to see which is Sephora's 2018 best picks of the year, just to see exactly like what's actually good and what was like worth the like top pick. Some of these things were, some of these things were not, in my opinion. You know, um, some things definitely worked out amazingly somewhere. I was like a little shocked. I love the way the powder looks on me. I like the way that my skin looks right now. However, it oxidized on me, so that's therefore I can't like use it again. Beautiful, but it oxidized. I need, this needs to go on like a darker, deeper complexion. 
than I would say per on me personally. But honestly, I love the way the face turned out and I love it. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot to mention. I do think, I don't know if I did say this or not, but I would say that the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, it's a very nice, beautiful palette. It's really nice. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So I would say that this is definitely warranted of getting the best of beauty from Sephora and Allure. But other than that, I think that's it. I love how my face looks. To be really honest, this is like a go-to, dude. Like a go-to. Ooh! But anyways, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for being absolutely amazing and checking this video out and watching it. And I cannot wait for 2019. It's going to be a brand new year. And I cannot wait to just head into it full force. People always say like new year, new me. But for me, I always like to say new year improved me. So I feel like every single year in my life that I've grown, I feel like I've gotten... I've learned lessons throughout those years. And 2018 definitely had its lessons for me to learn and I feel like I've learned them and I wanted to grow and move on and move forward. And I'm definitely gonna be doing that in 2019. So I cannot wait for 2019 to start and for it to just to be one of the best years ever for me and for you guys. And going into the year, just going in strong, confident and happy. That's all I can like, you know, advise you guys to do. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in strong, happy, confident and doing what I fucking love, and that is YouTube, makeup, spending time with my family, and that's it. So um, I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. I love you so much. Mwah. See you in 2019. Ah. Fuck me. Right in the ass, dude. She's lit. I got Botox on the sides of my nose, so when I smile, my nose doesn't flare as much. <laughs> didn't know that was possible. I didn't know. My background looks a mess. Like, I'm so sorry. I need a new one. It's a little bit, it's a little more symmetrical. That looks like Kakita. That looks like Kakita for sure. <coughs> Shut the fuck up. Yes. <coughs> fuck. Tone, but uh, but uh. Zayas, let me have it. Shocking beauty. Shocking shock me. Shock therapy. No, we don't watch our therapy. Fuck. Fuck that. And fuck whoever meant to that shit. Okay, cool. So I was not um, audio that whole time, so that's really fucking great. I literally went so far out here. What am I? What is wrong with me? And that is it, you guys. That's it for today's video. That's me testing out. Oh my god, the lipsticks on my hand. Jesus. Coming out of Sephora light, goddamn. It's so fucking cold. Oh my god. My nipples. What the fuck am I looking for again? <laughs> this is my angle. Hi, yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. Hi, nice to meet I'm you. Gina. Manny, so very nice, nice to meet you. you. Oh, very nice to meet you. What's up? Yeah, I know, let's take a photo, yeah. I'm so awkward. <laughs>